apply GCSE biology addressing syllabus statement 4.9 and now we're looking at the carbon cycle once more we're going to progress through the named components of the cycle without drawing it so let's begin with um, well, number one photosynthesis so we know that carbon dioxide and water are combined in photosynthesis using chlorophyll and that light energy is trapped and used to form organic molecules such as glucose here the carbon dioxide comes from the atmosphere where it makes up somewhere in the region of 0.03 percent of the atmosphere so photosynthesis when it occurs is responsible for reducing the atmospheric CO2 number two feeding once more we can look at the food chain and the passage of carbon through the various trophic levels above we've identified the producer but then producers are eaten in turn by primary consumers and in doing so the primary consumer takes in the carbon from the producer and uses this to reconstitute its own body material so it grows the primary consumer is then eaten by the secondary consumer and carbon passes along the food chain at each stage in the food chain each organism carries out the process of respiration now we know that respiration begins with organic molecules such as glucose C6 H12 or 6 this is glucose and with oxygen in aerobic respiration then we would have the breakdown using enzymes in the cell would result in the release of energy but for the purposes of this discussion we need to focus on the production of carbon dioxide so respiration adds CO2 to the atmosphere if we go back to our food chain above here you'll recall <coughs> that producers also respire sending out carbon dioxide to the atmosphere the primary producer respires sending out carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and in turn so does the secondary consumer so all organisms are putting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere through the process of respiration the fourth process to look at in the cycling of carbon is decomposition all of the organisms up here in the food chain the producers the primary consumers the secondary consumers the tertiary consumers if they exist eventually there will be death of these organisms and the organic molecules that remain are broken down by the decomposer organisms which includes the bacteria and the fungi and this will result in the release of the carbon dioxide back to the atmosphere when you observe food um, carbon cycles another important aspect will be that of uh, combustion fossil fuels
formed over millions of years under compression and pressure of animals and, uh, and plant material has resulted in the formation of oils and coals and these are combusted to release carbon dioxide. The best known examples of the combustion of fossil fuels of course are the industrial applications uh, but also there is the motor vehicle such as cars, lorries, airplanes, where they combust fuel uh, to release energy for their movement. Let's not forget that combustion can also occur in the environment naturally, such as the idea of lightning striking the vegetation, and we could have things like forest fires and grassland fires which seem to be of quite important eco ecological interest. These are the stages, these are parts, some of the stages of the carbon cycle. Once more, to consolidate and uh, reinforce this learning, I suggest that you Google carbon cycle go to images and for two or three images of carbon cycles identify the different stages that we have gone through above. Repeating this reinforces your understanding and prepares you well for examination.